We're on an oxbow lake that uh, is, is commonly known as Beaver Dam. And that was the home port, the home hunting club for Nash Buckingham. You know, he's arguably the most famous waterfowl writers that, uh, that's ever lived. And uh, the gun that he probably wrote about the most and, and is undoubtedly uh, known for the most is, uh, is Bo Whoop. Bo Whoop is probably the most famous gun in American waterfowling history. So Nash Buckingham commissioned Burt Becker to make him a special super fox. Bo Whoop got its name by the two note sound that it creates at a distance and that's something that's, gonna, that's unique to this gun is the sound that it makes and that's directly related to the boring that Burt Becker did on the barrels. And it was put on the fender of a car and when they drove off, the gun fell off the car. And then 60 years later, it walked into a gun shop in Darlington, South Carolina to have some stock work done and that's when Bo Whoop resurfaced. It's more than just a shotgun. It was, it was something that Nash had that he wrote about to describe a time in, in waterfowling history in America, and especially in the South. We're here on Beaver Dam Lake, made famous by Nash Buckingham, who wrote a lot of stories about it back in the early 1900s. To have these guys, Dale and, and uh, Steve and Rogers and Will, and, you know, it, it just it was really special to me. It's a true honor to be able to, to hunt here. Beaver Dam, yeah, I've never hunted anything like this. About Bo Whoop, huh? Hey. It was a great moment to have uh, have Bo Whoop in my hands and thinking about the history and Nash Buckingham and those two Gadwall came around and two of them came right in, perfectly decoying in and what a joy it was to drop a double with Bo Whoop. He wrote around this gun. The gun was the centerpiece for some of his stories. And to be able to bring that back and, and bring it to Beaver Dam, you know, was just really, really incredible. Just such an honor to hold that gun, pull that trigger, and feel just for a second what Nash might have felt 50 years ago.
Bowa has a lot of mystique surrounding it and people are intrigued by what it is and what it represents and to me that's it's a piece of waterfowling history I mean I, I can't think of a more important gun that represents to a number of people conservation Nash's ties to, to DU and kind of found the whole conservation effort with waterfowl. Howard Jr., who was the son of uh, Nash Buckingham's really good friend, uh, ended up buying Bow Whoop and auction and giving it to us at that convention. I texted some friends and said, Nash is smiling right now because this is what he enjoyed. Uh, Bow Whoop uh, was his favorite companion of all. And here we are being able to do it in the same place and honor the tradition of hunting the way that he did. To have Bo Whoop as part of the history of how we got here, part of the foundation of who we are and what our ethics are, and it's such an honor and such a privilege, and I hope that all that follow us understand the significance and the meaning that Bo Whoop carries with it for Ducks Unlimited.